Hello Sagittarius and welcome to your November reading. This month I am changing things up a little bit. I did do my typical pick a card for November, but I'm also doing these zodiac readings. And if you like these zodiac readings, then hit the thumbs up button because next month the zodiac sign that gets the most likes will be the first one up and when I have 12 videos to do that could be a week in between the first and the last one so if you want your information first hit that thumbs up button and share it with all the Sagittariuses that you know that you think would benefit from this reading. So let's get started. What do the cards have to tell Sagittarius for the month of November? What are the energies around November, what are the energies around Sagittarius? What messages do we need to relay? What are the messages for this group? Starting off with the hangman. Okay. Perspectives. The Queen of Cups. Justice. What does Sagittarius need to know? Swords. Okay, let's start here. You guys are, um, you guys are overcoming some stuff in November with the Hanged Man and the Six of Swords. You're really working to change your perspective, um, but not necessarily saying that your perspective is wrong, but just understanding your perspective better and understanding perhaps the the bigger picture. Um, also seen this with the Justice card. Because you're, you're really understanding the balance of what's going on in the situation. Um, the truth, you're starting to see the cause and effect. You know, like, what was the trigger of this situation that you're overcoming? And kind of getting insight into how you can move forward from this. Um, with the Queen of Cups, you know, it's you're a compassionate, you're a compassionate person. And... Um, I'm feeling like this might be a relationship that we're talking about, but it could also be like a friendship. It doesn't have to be like a love relationship. Um, but something happened and you're starting to understand that card wants to come out. The six of pentacles. Um, you're starting to understand look at that, the scales, the balance. Um, you're starting to understand the other side of the story. And I want to let you know that it takes a strong person to be able to admit that they were wrong in a situation. So as you're um, as you're analyzing what has happened, make sure that if you do feel that you wronged someone, um, I know you didn't do it on purpose. You know, it's it's accidental that we do things like this. Um, but it takes a lot of strength and a lot of courage to be able to admit that you were wrong in whatever the situation was. So I feel like someone needed to hear that message. Um, the five of wands. Yeah, that's about disagreement. And then ten of pentacles. Like everything's going to be okay in the end. But you need to you need to admit this. You know, it might even be admitting it to yourself. This might not even be with another person. It might be your perspective on you is changing. We got another queen. Um, so I'm feeling like a lot of feminine energy here. And a lot of emotional energy too. Um, yeah, you've we've got and there's there's a lot of balance going on. So I feel like this this might be a relationship. Um, whether you are the feminine figure in this relationship or whether we are talking about the feminine figure in this relationship, um, 
something happened that caused um, caused the scales to tip. So we've got the scales in the Justice card. We've got the scales here in the Six of Pentacles. We've got the Two Cups. Um, so you know, like there's there's a lot of there's a lot of balance which I'm feeling has been um, kind of shifted, um, especially with this Five of Wands. And so moving into this month with this Six of Swords, this is transition. So I feel like we are starting to understand the other side of this story. Again, whether this is something internal that you have been working through and feeling like you have been doing yourself a disservice because of whatever happened, or whether this is a relationship with someone else, um, it takes a lot of courage and a lot of strength to be able to admit that you were wrong in a situation. And I feel like you are coming to this realization with the hanged man. It's about seeing someone else's point of view. And um, I, I, like, I, really, I really think that you are starting to understand what the other party is saying, what they're going through. Um, but with this Ten of Pentacles, like this is this is a very good card. This is, you know, this is fortune awaiting you. And while this might not be monetary, because I'm seeing this very much as a relationship kind of guidance, um, I'm seeing that, you know, things are going to work out in the end. Things are going to work out as they should. Um, yeah, you'll, you'll find the balance in this situation. It's just, it might take a bit of time. The Oracle cards want to tell Sagittarius for November power. Yeah, I think this is this is speaking of your own personal power. You need to understand how powerful you are and how powerful words are as well. Um, I don't know if this issue will be resolved in November or if this kind of enlightenment, um, this new viewpoint will kind of come to the surface this month. But I just really want you to be open to the idea of power and how powerful your words can be um okay you want to come out too like stillness yeah sometimes we need to you know take the time to reflect upon our situation and not move too hastily we need to um understand both sides of the equation we need to find the balance in the situation to be able to move forward in the best possible way rain purification yeah um a lot of water here we've got the queen looking out over the water we've got the two of cups with the water we've got the six of swords with the water rain lightning which you know comes during a rainstorm um lake stillness so i think this you know we need to work with the ebbs and the flows of water um things things come and they go you know, things flow into our lives and they leave. Sometimes they, they flow smoothly. Sometimes they're rapid and they're, you know, they're, they're harsh. Um, but if we can understand why things are moving the way they are, you know, like when, when a water is still, maybe there's no, there's no wind blowing it. When there's rapids, it's because of the rocky surface underneath. Um, when we can really understand the balance that uh, that nature is showing us, then we can start to implement it into our own lives and help to instill that balance. Um, so you know, like when when it's raining, we need you know, rain can be dreary. It can be, um, you know, it can it can ruin your plans because maybe you wanted to go on a walk or something. And rain can be seen as like a negative thing, but then you can also look at rain as um, as purifying, like the card would suggest, but it also nourishes the ground, it nourishes the plants, it feeds our oceans, it feeds our lakes, it feeds us, like rain and water is so powerful. And then moving on to power, like, you know, lightning can be destructive, but if you harness electricity, it's amazing what can be done. So again, it's just, it's about balancing and it's about seeing both sides. 
Um, let's pull an animal oracle since we're feeling so nature inspired. Let's let's ask the animals for some advice. What do we need Sagittarius to know for the month of November? This might also be telling you, like, if you're really drawn to water, like, go sit by the water. Find your happy place. I know I really love being near water, and it really helps to um, open my mind up to possibilities as I'm sitting there thinking. So you might even just need to take these literally and just go sit by some water. Go act from your innate wisdom. Yeah, you guys, you guys are smart. Um... You understand. You understand this balance. And uh, you'll know when the time is right, when to move forward, when to take the next steps in this situation. Okay, what are you? Because you don't want to go back in. Ladybird. Accept happiness and good fortune. Yeah. We need to live in the now is really what I'm what I'm hearing with that. Um, accept the happiness now, accept your good fortune now. I mean, it seems like good things will be coming to you even more abundant than you currently have. But you need to be grateful and for what you have now and really appreciate what you have now to be able to um, accept even more happiness, love and abundance into your life. And then we have the rat. Be true to yourself and the universe will reward you. Again, yeah, if you if you can enjoy what you have now and if you can um, be appreciative of what you have, then the universe is going to reward you with even more abundance. And when you have that perspective of seeing both the positive and negative, you can choose to live in the positive. You can choose to be true to yourself, to live in happiness. You can choose to accept the good fortune. Okay, this card is going to go in. Look at the bigger picture. Yeah, <laughs> like I was literally just saying, you can choose the path that you want to be on. The universe will listen to you. You just need to um, understand the balance and the law of attraction and how the universe works. Don't let your past hold you back and show the world the real you. Um, yeah, I feel like um, the scales, like this is something that has happened in your past and you're still balancing it and you don't, yeah, you don't want to let it hold you back. You don't want to be living back here. You want to move forward. Um, and to do that, you need to see this bigger picture, right? With the hangman, the perspective that the world is showing you and in return you need to show the world the real you who you truly are and where you're going because I think it's going to be a beautiful place where you're going so um with this ten of pentacles like good things are on the horizon we just need to um exist in this place of balance so that was your reading, Sagittarius, for the month of November. If you enjoyed this reading, please give it a thumbs up so that I can do your reading first next month. Um, and don't forget to hit to the uh, blah, blah. <laughs> don't forget to hit the subscribe button when you're down there because if you don't subscribe, you might miss the video anyway. So hit the subscribe button. <laughs> Love, light, and happiness to you all. I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.